Okay, guys, it is 3.26 p.m. on the 17th of February, 2013. And we are on the last paragraph of the Da, 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 message to a thesis. Woohoo, right? So, let's do the message to a thesis. New American Standard Bible is what this one's, what I'm reading this out of. I don't know why there's two different versions. Sorry guys. Um let me try to get and maybe there we go. Sorry about that. No, it's in the right one. Alright. To the angel of the churches in Ephesians right. These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven golden lampstands. I know your deeds, your hard work, and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked men, that you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not, and have found them false. You have preserved, you have endured hardships for my name, and have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken your first love. Remember the height from which you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. But you have this in your favor. You hate the practice of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. Verse 7. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit has what the Spirit says to the churches, to whom who overcomes, I will give the light to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. Glory be. Revelation chapter 2, verse 7. New International Version, copyright 1984, YouTube. I have, I have and everybody else has all rights reserved. All right. And we do have quite a few cross references for this one. I figured we would. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. We have Genesis 2. Verse 9, And the Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the, gro the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Genesis verse 3, chapter 22, And the Lord God said, the man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. So, now, in the end, we shall finally be able to eat from that other tree. <laughs> Proverbs 3.18 Hi honey She is a tree of life to those who embrace her those who laid hold of her will be blessed Proverbs 11.30 The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life and he who wins souls is wise Okay the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. So if you're out there 
um, winning souls for the Lord, your wives. Proverbs 13:12. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. <coughs> Proverbs 15, verse 4. The tongue that brings healing is a tree of life, but a sight deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Ezekiel 28, verse 13. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone adored you, ruby, topaz, emerald, chrysolite, onyx, jasper, sapphire, turquoise, and beryl. Your settings and mountings were made of gold, and the day you were created, they were prepared. I do remember a dream once where I seen all of those gems as a wall. But that's all it was, was a glimpse of a wall of beautiful gems. But that's all I ever remember. It could even have been a daydream. But it was just a wall of gems. It was so beautiful and brightly... Sh I mean the colors, you, you can't even describe the colors because our words are not even able to d just describe the magnitudes of colors that they were. It wasn't a red, and it wasn't like the red of those roses that are around the border. It was It, the red, and it wasn't like blood or anything because even when, like, when you saw, like, the blood of, like, Jesus' hands, I mean, that was just, like, amazing, like, blissful blood, red, and uh, bursting with, like, light and shining through. It's just so hard to describe the colors, the reds and the blues and the purples, and that it wasn't even, you can't even describe them as those colors. The, um, topaz, it, it wasn't even like a topaz, it was just so bright and... When you get to heaven and you see them, you will understand why earthly words cannot describe them. And if you've gone, you will understand what I am trying to explain. It was just like a, it was a vision, and I can't believe that I, I, I understand now what it was that I was seeing, and I understand now why I seen it because I could explain. I mean, not explain it, because I can't even explain it now. It's more like I'm just blah, 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 mumbling and stuttering over words, and only a few will understand what I am talking about. My husband probably thinks I am retarded right about now. But only a few of you are going to understand what I am talking about. But look up Ezekiel 28. 13. Read it. See if you can get a glimpse of what the colors are. Because you will not believe the difference of the colors. And if you can actually see the colors, you will understand why I say you cannot describe them in human words. All right, Ezekiel 31, 8. The cedars in the garden of God could not rival it, nor could the pine trees equal its boughs, nor could the plane trees compare with its branches. No tree in the garden of God could match its beauty. Pretty much about like I was saying with the stones. Only this is trees. 
Matthew 11:15. He who has ears, let him hear. Mark 4:9. Then Jesus said, He who has ears, let him hear. Let him hear. Luke 8:8. 8, 8. Still other seed fell on good soil. It came up and it yielded a crop a hundred times more than was sown. When he said this, he called out, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. In other words, my brothers and sisters, get the word out. Jesus is coming. He who has ears, let him hear. The Lord is on his way. Get the word out. Tell people what is going on. Get revelations out to people so that they know. Do not let them de be deceived by false gods. He that has ears, let him hear, my brothers and sisters. Luke 23, 43, Jesus answered him, I tell you the truth, today will be, today you will be with me in paradise. 1 John 2.13 I write to you, fathers, because you have known him who are from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you have overcome the evil world one. I write to you, dear children, because you have known the Father. Revelation 2.11 He who has ears, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes will not be hurt at all by the second death. My brothers and sisters, get it out. He who has ears, let him hear. He, Revelations 2.17 He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna. I will also give him a white stone <coughs> with the new name written on it, known only to him who receives it. Revelation 2.26 To him who overcomes I, and does my will to the end, I will give authority over the nations. Revelation 3.5 He who overcomes will like them be dressed in white. I will I will never blot out his name from the book of life, but will acknowledge his name before my Father and his angels. Revelations 3.12 Him who overcomes, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. Never again will he leave it. I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the name of Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven from my God. And I will also write on him my new name. Revelation 3.21 To him who overcomes, I will give to the right, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne, just as I overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. Last one, my brother and sister. Revelation 21.7 He who overcomes will inherit all of this. And I will be his God, and he will be my son. My brothers and sisters, he is who he who has an ear, let him hear. The Jesus is coming. Get the word out. Get repent, 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 repent. I love you, brothers and sisters. Peace be with you. Mwah.